Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 17th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, There in the Darkness. And our scripture is John's Gospel, where the beloved apostle writes, There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him, but anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only Son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. I should have known better. It was this past Saturday evening that I stood in front of my wife's brand new dresser, my hand full of the pills that I take each day. I've never had the best aim, but... Good grief, how can you miss a preacher's mouth from one inch away? (laughs) One of those little white pills bounced off my chin, hit my shoe, and devilishly rolled under the dresser. I got down on my knees in the dimly lit room and regretted it immediately, knowing I'd have to get up, get the flashlight, and ease those aging bones down on all fours a second time. I laid my aching body level to the ground right in front of the dresser, praying that the bones would let me get up again without calling 911. The flashlight found the pill just out of reach. It was no surprise about the painful relocation of bones, joints, and marrow, or that I'd have to stretch those arm bones to lengths they'd never known to retrieve that wayward pill. What shocked me was the floor under that recently arrived dresser. It was covered in more dust bunnies than you'd see chocolate bunnies at Easter. Now, you need to know one thing. My wife's middle name is White Tornado. Our kids dubbed her that because she does preemptive strikes on dirt 32 days in the average week. She moves furniture every time she dusts to clean the unseen. This despite my theory that bugs unseen are not problematic. We'll call it her blind side, but Elizabeth cannot move that dresser, and the malicious dust bunnies know it. They go there to hide, reproduce, and plot. I'm convinced the dust bunnies have finally unionized and targeted our home because of my bride's unflinching commitment to dusticide defined as the systematic, relentless effort to eliminate all that dusty particle scourge from the face of the earth. Apostle John holds that we humans know about light and darkness, but we more often choose darkness over the light. A quick glance at our world's moral and ethical state, and you have little problem agreeing with the Apostle. We are in a darkness stronghold, more than the dust bunny situation under the dresser. Yeah, get that picture of Elizabeth's dresser out of your mind, yours ain't any better. But here we are talking about our moral dresser. For us, it's a whole lot easier to live with that puppy in the darkness. Why is that, preacher? Well, for the second day in a row, I'm glad you asked. We like the darkness because we really don't want to find anything, and we know there are those things down there. Attitudes we should have stifled. People we wanted to stifle instead of love. Good advice we stifled all too often in favor of the bad stuff we craved. And things we shouldn't have done, including the bad stuff we wanted to do but never had the time, and the list goes on and on. We like darkness, full stop. And it's because that spot under the cover of the dresser bottom's darkness hides a multitude of stuff you can't see if you don't look too closely. That's precisely why Apostle Paul, giving advice about how to come to God and worship, says that we should examine our lives, use a flashlight if necessary to find that bitter pill among the dust bunnies and bring it out in the light of confession. And then watch God's light of grace shrivel it up and blow it away. For you today, 
The old-time gospel preaching evangelist Vance Havner used to put it this way, creepy, crawly things scramble when the light hits them. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.